there's the police. get it when you've uh, you go into that little power van on the VTEC and you haven't done it for a while that you get this sort of it's not it's not a, an exhaust smell as such and it's not petrol Thank you. VTEC smells you know what I mean so if like me and you got your VTEC and you get to that certain sweet spot and you open it up and you get straight away like an instance of the smell it's kind of like a carbon smell well stay around because I'm going to tell you what's going on In your VTEC engine, you've got your camshaft, and that's just the shaft that the lobes are going around of to push the valves up and down. Now the lobes are just basically like a pear-shaped cam that sits on the shaft and they open and close the valves as they spin around and rotate. And they do that very, very fast, especially in a Honda, because we all know these Hondas love to rev. So VTEC actually stands for Variable Valve Electronic Timing Control. And in a nutshell, what's happening is when you get to that power band and you put your foot down and the revs are getting to a certain point, hydraulically there's a little pin that connects the two outer cams to a middle one. So instead of the two cams going up and down in the normal manner when you're driving along nice and stately and being an adult, this middle cam then locks against the two outer cams. So you now have three going up and down. And that middle cam just allows those two outer cams which would normally go to a certain height to lift just that little bit more and what that actually does it allows more air more oxygen into the engine you're going to get a bigger bang and you're going to get that little bit more power now in simple physics you've got three items that's going to make fire that's going to make an explosion you've got your ignition source which is your spark plug you're going to have your fuel source which obviously is the fuel the petrol or the diesel and then you're going to have the air supply and that air supply if it's increased it's going to give you a bigger bang but when you put your foot down like we're just about to do now and you get to that all within the speed limit all within the speed limit i'm just accelerating faster but i kept within the speed limit honest but then you end up having this extra little little boost not quite a turbo and it's not quite a compressor as in a supercharger but it does work and it does give you that lovely little sound as well so the smell that you're getting what i believe is happening and i've done a little bit looking into this is that when you're driving normally and the revolutions of the engine are going along there's going to be a bit of carbon that builds up and you always get that on the top of the piston when you open up and you put the vtec in that extra air I believe what's happening is it's actually removing some of that carbon off the top of the piston. So, in summary, if you're getting that funny smell, don't worry about it too much, because I think it's fairly normal. Just make sure you try and use the VTEC fairly regularly, maybe once or twice a week. And what you'll find is that smell that you initially got, which is quite, quite distinctive and it's quite noticeable, gets less and less to the point that you don't even notice it anymore. So don't panic too much. If you've got that little smell, pretty normal really. And it's just what these clever Japanese engineers have managed to come up with in the VTEC engine. See you on the next one. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on.